My father tried to get me to go right after I graduated Steven, high school. Thank you for giving us an hour of your time. Your mother and I found this to be rather important. You finished high school. Thank God. <laughs> now it's your time to do good. This rebellion thing you're going through, I, I, I understand it. Not completely, but uh, I respect it. Now you should think about what is right for you. I mean, be free, darling. Always. Yeah, you, be practical, Steve. You got a chance to go to Harvard. You got me as an alumnus that can't but hurt. But only if it makes you happy. Look, if you want to rebel there, you can do it. I was there, I went to Woodstock. Me and the guys had a lot of fun. We did our did our thing there. We we, we got behind some causes, though. We, we fought for some very strong causes. We ended, collectively, we ended that goddamn war in Nam so that guys like you could be free. There's all these possibilities for you, Stephen. Carry the torch now, okay? I can see by looking at you that you're ready. Proud of the fact that you're uh, an individual. Very proud. So proud. One thing. Uh, this may not be easy to hear, but the hair. Maybe tone it down a bit. The whole thing that you're doing. In my day, it was, you know, hair, long hair, beatniks, paisley. You know, that stuff. And uh, not liked, that kind of thing. This whole thing you're doing, this uh, statement about the American Indian you're doing, I'm baffled. And, and not just me. I mean, I'm saying regular guy in the street is going to be baffled, too. And we're hip, we're cool. It's just those guys on the East Coast are never going to get it, you know? With the, they're, they're not going to get this in New York, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> darling, we sound like our parents. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult, dear. Oh, we just want to support you. 100%. Take the ball and run with it. Make a difference. But always with love. Remember that, Stephen. Always with love. Oh, oh time out. I just want to ask, uh, real quick, if I can, um, you believe in rebellion, freedom, and love, right? Absolutely. Rebellion, freedom, yes. love. <laughs> you two are divorced, so love failed. Two, Mom, you're a new age, you're clinging to any kind of scrap of Eastern religion that may justify why the above said love failed. Three, Dad, you're a slick, corporate, preppy-ass lawyer. I don't really have to say anything else about you, do I, Dad? Four, you moved from New York City, the mecca and hub of the cultural world, to Utah. Nowhere to change nothing, more to perpetuate this cycle of money, greed, fascism, and triviality. I mean, your movement of the people, by the people, and for the people got you Nothing. You just hide behind some lost sense of drugs, sex, rock and roll. Oh, kumbaya. I am the future. I am the future of this great nation which you, Father, so arrogantly saved this world for. Look, I, I have my own agenda. Harvard, out. University, Utah, in. I'm going to get a 4.0 in damage. I love you guys. Don't get me wrong. It's all about this. But for the first time in my life, I'm 18 and I can say, Fuck you! Steven, I didn't, I didn't sell out, son. I bought in. Keep that in mind. That kid is going to make one hell of a lawyer, huh? Yeah. He takes after his father. <laughs> He's a son of a bitch. Fuck you, dear. And now, four years later, I was a college graduate. We did what we could to fuck things up, but the system is strong. And there were many, and we were still few. But this fall was going to be the fall, all right. Bob and the rest of us had made an oath to do absolutely nothing. We were going to waste our educated minds. We had no other way of fighting. As I said, there just weren't enough of us.